Hello everybody, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I do appreciate you spending a little time here. Uh, today's beer comes from Great Wrath Brewing. These guys are down in Louisiana. This is their Grace and Grit uh, Imperial or Double IPA. Uh, don't think I've had anything from these guys before. Don't recall if I have. Uh, this was sent to me by Cody and he writes... Uh, this is one of Great Raft's most popular IPAs, huge amounts of Citra and Amarillo hops. Two awesome hops there. The bitterness balanced with honey to create a sweet, sweet hop bomb. He said he had a feeling that, he, that I would enjoy it, so he picked up a couple, one for me and one for him. And he said he bought it at the brewery in Shreveport, Louisiana, and it was $3.99 a can. And it still has a sticker on the side of the can, and that's what it's got written on it. Uh, 8% ABV, and he says dated 9 of 11 of 18 on the bottom of the can. So, uh, fairly fresh. Today is the, hmm, what is today? Today is the 8th, 18th, 18th of October. So, uh, barely over a month old, about five weeks old. So, uh, should be pretty tasty. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we need to talk about before we pop the top on this thing. Uh, Untap says, our double IPA has strong tropical aromas delivered from massive amounts of citra and, Am citra and amarillo hops. Incredible bitterness is balanced. The same thing I, I just read to you with honey, creating a soft, slightly sweet hop bomb. So, looking forward to this. I'm hoping it's going to be a really tasty IPA. So it is time, a big 16 ounce can. And it looks like it's got one of these heat shrunk uh, labels on the can. Almost looks like a printed can, but it is not. So into the glass we go. A little hazy coming out, not super hazy. It doesn't look like a New England style, but I could be wrong on that. It could have settled to the bottom of the can. We won't be able to get it all in there, but we will throw the back end pour before I go off camera. About a quarter finger of head, and I take that back, guys. It does. It's not bright orangey, but it is an unfiltered beer, very reminiscent of a New England style double IPA. I would put it in that category looking at it now that it's in the glass. To the nose we go. Citrusy, very citrusy. Pine, grapefruit, pineapple, oranges, mango, a lot of tropical fruit notes in there. Maybe some, uh, maybe some, even some peaches in there. Smells pretty good. Let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cody. A little bit of dankness in there. Very smooth. A nice sweetness to it, not too bitter. Very well balanced. Well, that is super tasty. I love the body on a double IPA as opposed to a single IPA. A little bit more malt. Has a little bit thicker mouthfeel to me. And this, like a 5.5 that we did yesterday in a single, the eight percenters, uh, have the body of the beer tastes better to me. I mean, it, it does. Once you get to the seven percent and up, they they seem to, to have that to me, and that's what I like. Uh, they don't seem to be too thin or too watery. Uh, 
That is pretty tasty. That is pretty good. So let's get the back end pour in there. See if it changes the appearance any. And not too much. It looks still pretty much the same as it did before. Nice finger of head on that back end pour that it recreated. Very nice beer. So let's sip on this. It's right out of the fridge and I'll be back and we'll figure out where it's going to drop in on the scale. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on it for a while. Nice facing that's left on the glass. Very tasty beer, guys. I would buy this beer if I could give it here. Very nice example of a double IPA. And in the style, too. Uh, I would consider this a New England style double IPA because of the cloudiness and uh, the big citrusy notes. Uh, very, very, very tasty, guys. I enjoyed this. Like I said, the biggest recommendation that I can give you is uh, that I would buy this beer. So, and being an 8%er and it's $3.99, not too awfully expensive. Hopefully, you're going to get a price break if you're buying a a four pack or a six pack of it however they're, they're packaging it some do four some do sixes on this size of an, uh, a double ipa so uh very enjoyable guys i did enjoy this very tasty final chug very balanced beer guys nice sweetness to it not too bitter very very nice uh to me guys nine out of ten and that's where i'm going to put it 95 right down the middle of the a category over to beer advocate they say 4.25 in their outstanding range and over to untap for our final check-in they have it at 4.15 a numbers from everybody guys so uh very nice example of a double ipa and with the uh the honey uh gives it a nice sweetness uh I liked it. Like I said, I would buy this beer if I could get it here. It's got the date on the bottom of it. It's got the ABV on there. Uh, you know, all the information you need to make a, an educated purchase, guys. So uh, with that uh, being said, if you've had this one from Great Wrath Brewing, the Grace and Grit, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge, guys. <laughs>